Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do financial awareness for second and third week of May 2023 for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3. Okay. Let's start the session before starting. Let me tell you my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. Uh, this is my WhatsApp number and it's really really easy to reach me. Okay. So let's start. Karte hai. IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 course is available on bankexamstudy.com students and we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules and live sessions on bankexamstudy.com. Please check the description for the links. Links are available in the description. GNCTD versus Union of India issue on control over services. Hai. First of all, government of national capital territory of Delhi. So Delhi government or the central government hai, usme dispute tha for the control over services hai. and high court ka order a gaya hai. So GNCTD has uh, the government, Delhi government has legislative and executive control over services. So except law and order and land in Delhi, uh, on services, the government of Delhi now has control. Oh, they can actually give promotion, hire somebody, right? Uh, they have that control on Delhi, but not law and order and land. Okay, in two things, ko chhod ke, baaki unka sara control hai. Police pe control nahi hai, land pe control nahi hai. But over services, uh, they have legislative and executive control over the services. So very important. And RBI withdrew 2000 rupee bank note from circulation. And uh, these 2000 rupee pink notes are uh, in circulation till 30th of September 2023. After 30th of September 2023, they won't be in the circulation. Uske baad legal tender nahi rahenge. Last date is 30th of April 2023. As of now, they are a legal tender. And this is part of clean note policy. RBI advised banks to stop issuing these notes with immediate effect and the limit for the exchange facility as of the moment is 20,000 rupee. Okay. And NPCI introduced CVV less payments for tokenized cards. So as you make online payments, up online payment, karte ho, you need to add your CVV uh, while making payment via credit cards or debit cards. But now you don't need to put in your CVV. Ab CVV dalne ki nahi padegi with these CVV less payments for tokenized card, the card which are tokenized. So what is tokenization? In the pa in the past, RBI came up with the tokenization. RBI ne ye tokenization ka format laya tha. For example, on websites like Flipkart, Zomato or Amazon, you fill in your uh, credit card or debit card details. Aap credit card ki details dalte ho. Uh, your name, your card number, the expiry date, expiry date and CVV. So what uh, that company used to do was sare ka sara data save kar lete the. But RBI came up with the plan ki don't save this data. Instead, you can encrypt the, that data in a token. Aap isko ek token mein convert kar sakte ho. That process is known as tokenization. Same card on different websites are a token. Same card go flip card mein daloge, wo lag token banega, aap Amazon pe daloge, a lag token banega. You just need to enter your CVV. But now, uh, OTP hi jayega, CVV dalne ki zorot nahi hai, thik hai. So that is another thing. So NP, uh, NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India has introduced a new feature for the rupee card holders. So CVV less cards are there, okay. Sidramaya uh, sworn in as CM of Karnataka after the Indian National Congress. The Congress won the elections in Karnataka. Sidramaya uh, sworn in as CM of Karnataka and DK Shiv Kumar as Deputy CM. Okay, so please remember the new CM of Karnataka, his name. Please remember that. So let me just hide myself because I guess now it's difficult for you to read the content. Yeah. 20% TCS on international credit card spend. So if you are going out, out of India on a vacation and you are spending money via credit cards, you are credit card se payment your credit cards, 20% TDS, T, TCS would be collected, tax collected at source. But there is a limit of 7 lakh rupees. If you are spending up to 7 lakhs on small transactions up to 7 lakhs, there is an exemption. There is an exemption 
ऑन यू नो अप टू सेवन लैक्स देर विल बी नो टी सी एस टी सी एस कलेक्ट नहीं होगा अप टू सेवन लैक्स आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द एल आर एस स्कीम अंडर एल आर एस लिबरलाइज रेमिटेंस स्कीम द अपर लिमिट ऑफ रेमिटेंस इज टू पॉइंट फाइव लैख यू एस डॉलर्स पर ईयर सो इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज टैक्स कलेक्टेड एट सोर्स इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ओके अप टू सेवन लैख दैट इज एग्जेमटेड सो प्लीज रिमेंबर इट द अपडेट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट संचार साथी पोर्टल लॉन्च टू प्रिवेंट फ्रॉड्स बाय मिस यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन सो द स्टोलन मोबाइल फोन आर यूज फॉर इलीगल एक्टिविटीज नाउ द संचार साथी पोर्टल has been launched by the union minister for communication electronics it and railways ashwini vaishnav on 16th of may so this portal uses ai based intelligence and will enable telecom users to trace and block their lost or stolen phones even if the new sim has been inserted theek hai so that is the plan hdfc amc launched the india's first mutual fund focused on defense sector so it is a focused fund 80% of the net assets under management in this fund would be invested in defense and allied sector companies so the name of the fund is hdfc defense fund totally new kind of a fund unique concept okay so what is the name of the fund uh, india's first uh, mutual fund focused on defense sector that is hdfc defense fund and the zomato partnered with icic bank to launch its own upi zomato upi so while you are making payments on zomato via upi you don't need to go to the website or to the google pay or phone pay apps within the zomato uh, you can make the payment using upi okay so zomato uh, you know the upi feature is in built in zomato you don't need to go out of zomato now okay so that is a new sort of feature very nice feature paytm in partnership with sbi card npci launched co branded rupee card so paytm sbi card has been launched so a lot of privileges would be offered uh, 3% cash back on uh, booking of movie travel tickets via paytm app 2% cash back on all other purchases via paytm app and 1% on cash back on any anywhere else okay so irdi forms task force to facilitate ease of doing kyc using aadhar so insurers are doing kyc using the complicated manners but now the they can do the kyc is using aadhar so that's simple mp cabinet approved cm learn and earn scheme for unemployed youth so the youth who has done 12th iti graduation and post graduation who are unemployed they have done a various degrees now the training would be provided vocational training would be provided it could be better if they had, if they had provided training while they were in the college why additional training is required there is a huge need of the time to provide uh, job oriented education at the college nahi kari ja rahi aaj ke time mein karni chahiye rbi gave note to sbi fml to acquire 9.99% stake in hdfc bank so sbi state bank of india funds management they are going to acquire 9.99% stake in hdfc bank india's largest private sector bank so rbi ne wo approval de di hai now sbi fml which is uh, a fund of sbi the state bank of india fund management they are going to acquire 10% uh, share of hdfc bank big thing and kerala became the first indian state to launch welfare fund for workers so the workers who works under mahatma gandhi rural employment guarantee scheme once they are 60 once they turn 60 they are going to get a pension from this fund okay from this welfare fund they are going to get pension of 1000 rupees really nice scheme i would say ayankali urban employment guarantee scheme okay Data Governance Quality Index by Niti Aayog. This is really important. Data Governance Quality Index. First of all, you should remember Data Governance Quality Index is published by Niti Aayog. What is the purpose? It is a survey conducted by Development Monitoring and Evaluation Office, which is a part of Niti Aayog. ये भी याद रखो. 
to assess the data preparedness of different ministries and departments on implementation of central sector schemes and centrally sponsored schemes. So, kitni prepared hain various ministries and departments to implement the central spon center sponsored scheme. Government scheme ko implement karne ke liye various ministries kitni prepared hain. Isko check karne ke liye hamara uh, index hai. So various ministries are there, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, it is at the top and then Ministry of Ports, Shipping, Waterways, then Ministry of Education, Rural Development, Housing and Urban Affairs. So scores are given. At the bottom is Ministry of Power, which is at 1.7 ka score. Hai. So this is at the bottom. So which which uh, ministry is at the top? Ye yaad rakhna, zaruri hai. Health, Family, Welfare. So 4.9 ka score. Hai. It is at the top. So please remember that. Himachal Pradesh CM Sukhvinder Singh uh, Sukhu unveiled the HIM data portal. So first of all, please remember the name of the CM uh, Sukhvinder Singh. Uh, he launched the HIM data portal. So what is the purpose? The purpose kya hai iska? Okay. So the portal, it is a digital platform to integrate data of all government wings for delivery of welfare schemes. So welfare schemes ki delivery ke liye sare data point ko ek jaga pe la diya hai. So this is a platform to integrate data of all government wings at one place. So that is the point. And Bank of Baroda launches electronic bank guarantee on its Baroda Insta platform. So to provide the bank guarantee, Bank of Baroda launched the bank guarantee on its digital platform. So it is a start to end a digital process across complete life cycle of a bank guarantee. So bank guarantee provide karne ka, this is the platform Baroda Insta platform to provide a bank guarantee. The one stop platform is there so to reduce the turnaround time. So that is the point. Okay, Baroda Insta platform, you should remember bank guarantee provide karne ka platform my Insta platform, it is uh, unveiled by Bank of Baroda. And Telangana uh, CMKCR launched Gita Karmikula Bhima scheme. So it is an initiative by the Telangana government. Okay. So who are uh, Todi ta tappers? So in, on the palm trees, uh, ke jo, uh, hai, right? they are uh, Todi, uh, Todi tappers. Sometimes they die because they, you know, uh, they fell off from the trees and there can be accidental deaths and the Karnataka, uh, the Telangana government provide uh, the life covered of 5 lakhs to them in case they die because of uh, falling off from trees, okay. And Union Minister uh, Sarbananda Sonowal launches Harit Sagar guidelines launched by Ministry of Ports, Shipping, Waterways to achieve larger vision of zero carbon emission goal and promote environmental friendly practices across all ports, right? So the guideline in, uh, envisages ecosystem dynamics in port development operation and maintenance. So basically zero carbon emission goal hai is ka, uh, for the Harit Sagar Green Port Guidelines. Ka. Union Minister uh, Smriti Irani, Zubin Irani launched the portion bhi, uh, padhai bhi. So as a name suggests, uh, so nutrition along with the education, this plan has been launched. The scheme has been launched by the uh, Smriti Irani. And Yes Bank launched the solar financing scheme, uh, Yes Kiran for MSMEs. So loans up to 3 crore would be provided to purchase the solar panels, the solar projects. So term loan of 3 crore, up to 3 crore would be provided for 6 years uh, with the moratorium of 6 months. So scheme name is Yes Kiran. And Razor Pay X introduced automated escrow plus solution powered by access trustee uh, services so the razor pay it's a payment gateway in india uh, and uh, it's a unicorn one of the very few profitable unicorns in india the business banking platform of razor pay has launched a solution that provides automated compliant and secure money transfer services experience on the escrow account to the business itna hai i guess so IBPS RRB scale to one scale three course students it's available on bank exams today.com. We are providing complete video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series on bank exams today. Links are available in the description. Ask your doubts here. This is our WhatsApp number. You can install our mobile apps as well. 
So list of our successful students in the past, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's, I guess, all for today's students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.